Hi tech friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna have the unboxing of this smartwatch that is two in one. Yes, just like you see, it comes with Bluetooth headset already built in. If we remove the cover, this is what we'll see. The Bluetooth headset right here. There we have it, completely silver with the silicone tip. On the back, we come with a touch sensor, microphone, and LED light. And from this side, we come with the charging connectors. The other one looks exactly the same. The only difference will be that one has the L for left and the R for right on the other. Let's put this on the side, then we're gonna have the smartwatch. It comes in this uh, little bag. It will look pretty similar as an Ultra, but we're gonna find some difference on the side. We're gonna talk about here very soon. Now let's remove these protectors. We have the charging cable type A on one side, two magnetic connectors on the other. We also have this uh, pair of uh, silicone tips in case you lose one from the earbuds, you can replace it. And finally, we have these two user manuals. They come completely in English. By the way, you can scan the QR code right here to download the app. Perfect, here we have the smartwatch. This is how it will look all around. As I told you, it has like a, an ultra shape, but some difference. Like right here, we have the holes for the earbuds. You just put it in. They go in there pretty well. And you see, they already on. If we go like this and shake it, no, they don't come out just like that. To pull it out, I think you can see how that part stick out. You can grab them like this and easily get them out. Another important thing is that it doesn't matter where do you put each one. They can go either way, just fine. If we go ahead and take the measurement from this angle, we're gonna count with uh, 47.9. This other way. 42.7 and its thickness will be 16 exactly it has like an ultra shape but we'll find some difference like uh, the straps you can see 22 millimeters completely different than the ultras on this side we count uh, with just one push button orange color as you see on the back we had the sensor charging interface if you want to replace the straps, very easy to do, just uh, like this. There we have this black and red. To power on the device, all you have to do is press and hold on the orange button. It's the only one. There we go, it vibrates, it says hello, and that will be the first watch It face. is equipped with a 1.91 inch TFT screen, 240 by 296 pixels. He show you right here that each of the earbuds are charging right now. IP67, Bluetooth 5.0, and a battery of 300 milliamps hour. According with specs, you can get uh, four to five hours of uh, playing music continuously, up to three days on the smartwatch. I'm gonna start using this smartwatch today to see if that is true or not and I'll let you know in a different video. We come with split screen and the most useful apps, shortcuts panels from top to bottom and from bottom to top we will find our notifications. To the other side you already saw we had the widget or component. These are uh, customizable. We press the button, it will take you to the apps menu. We press it twice, it will switch between the different styles that will offer you. Three in total. On settings, you can change the menu style. About display, you can control the brightness. Screen time, you can go only from five seconds to a maximum of nine. You can turn on the power saving mode, select the vibration intensity change the languages let me show you here real quick which ones we count with uh, let me go all the way through the bottom that way you can see if it counts with the one you need that's it right there now the app is uh, feed cloud pro many of you already knows it very well you can uh, turn on the notifications from your apps individually add your alarms we have a dial market center where you can upload a picture from your gallery if you want or just select another watch face that the app will offer you some of them will come with uh, shortcuts 
but I've been looking around and they are just uh, very few like this one right here but you will have plenty where to choose from between uh, analog, digital or combined. The smartwatch comes with 9 pre-installed from factory. When you upload one from the app, it will replace one of these ones. Now, as you see, the smartwatch itself doesn't come with a speaker or microphone for calls. So the smartwatch connects to the app with Cloud Pro, I repeat, then you take these ones out, they will turn on once you pull it out, when you put it back on, they will turn off by itself. But once you have it out, then you have to connect it on your Bluetooth settings on the smartphone. Yes, they can work independently. Let's say the smartwatch is discharged and you just can leave it at home and you can still use in the earbud separately. Now with then you can uh, control the music or media on your uh, smartphone. If you hit uh, twice on the right it will play or pause the song. Same thing on the left one. One touch will increase the volume on the right. On the left will uh, decrease it just as you see is doing it right now. If we touch on the right three times it will go forward on the music. And if you touch three times on the left, it will go back to the previous song. Four touches on the right, it will call the voice assistance. Four touches on the left, it will do the same thing. Now, if you're wondering about the sound, it's very stereo, clear. If you are a person that likes the bass real deep and pronounced, this won't have it. It's pretty much, like I said, a very stereo sound. Let me put it next to the microphone. Now, about volume, they have very good volume. They loud enough, I can hear them from here. Now, in case that you receive a notification, it vibrates, it has good vibration, it will show you that banner that you can touch on it. It will take you straight to the notification list. Those that you haven't read, they will have a red dot. Once you touch on it, you can read the content. When you go back, you can see the red dot is already gone. To delete it from here, all you have to do is swipe like this and hit the red or delete sign. Now, very important, in case of a call, it only vibrates, show you who's calling you, you can reject the call, but to answer it, you will have to use the earbuds. Yes, double tap on the controls and it will answer the call. Same thing to finish it. So, let's go ahead one more time, let's pretend you receive a call, you have the earbuds inside the watch, and it will vibrate so you will know you have a call it will show you who's calling you can reject but in case you want to answer it you just pull one of the earbuds or both if you want put it on your ear and then double tap on it you can see it answered the call without no problem and that way you can have your hands completely free Perfect, now let's see how they will look on uh, our ears. We just pull them out, real easy to do. Here we have the left one. They immediately says uh, power on. Now let's pull it out the other one right here. Like I said, very easy to pull out. Now at this point, let me tell you, I took this smartwatch 2-in-1 yesterday to work and see how the earbuds battery will go. But first, let me show you, this is how they will look um, in your ears. Uh, left right again they very lightweight comfortable to wear now about battery i could play music non-stop for five hours just like the advertising says now this will depend on the volume level you use i use it all of the time 45 percent i didn't need no more than that but like I said, I could get five hours. I would say if you go for a 70%, maybe you only get four. It will depend pretty much uh, on the volume level. And another thing very important, like I said, they have a stereo sound. They sound real good for the price. High mid, they very clear, very balanced. But if you are a person that likes, you know, deep bass, uh, you won't have it on these earbuds. I repeat, they got a good sound for the price. Uh, but definitely they are not for that people that like their bass uh, very deep and feel like they have woofers around the ears. Uh, it's not the case. Other than that, they do the job real good. You can pick up your calls. Microphones are decent. And they give you that advantage that you receive a call. You see who's calling. You just pull them out, answer the call. 
and you had your hands free. Now, in our wrist, this is how it will look. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. It looks kind of cool, I will say. If you just see it like that, it looks like a normal watch. Here is another very important detail. I already used it pretty much for a whole day. The battery is still 30%. But after I use the earbuds uh, for a whole round completely until they die, the smartwatch was at 80%. I put it back in, they were charging just like you see right now. And it took 35-40% of the battery to recharge them completely. So at this point I have another 5 hours on the earbuds to play music and still 30% of the battery in the watch. I will say that 30% will be enough for another day because the smartwatch only connects uh, to the app. It doesn't take that much uh, battery. So let's leave it this way. You can uh, have two days of battery on the watch and charge the earbuds. That means you will have 10 hours to listen to your music or answer calls. Just to be clear, let's say it's a hundred percent. The earbuds are completely charged. You remove them, use them for four or five hours. You put them back. It will recharge it again. And the smartwatch that way can last you up to two days, I will say. But of course, this will depend a lot on the usage. If you're a heavy user, or basic but i would say for a heavy user it can last the whole day without no problem using the earbuds like i say for 10 hours of course but in my case two days and well the friends that's it for this video let me know what you think about this uh two-in-one smartwatch i think it's pretty cool that uh, you can answer calls uh, real easy just pulling out the earbuds uh, and have your uh, hands free just keep in mind that uh, we don't count with always on display or pointers because they're trying to keep the battery safe on this smartwatch. Now, if you prefer the round smartwatches, I got this other one right here and this one has local memory to save your music. I'll try to do the unboxing this weekend for you guys. With that being said, take care and I'll see you in the next one.